let's take a look at reinventing public administration. In the early 1990s, the widespread public perception was that government was failing to fulfill even its own goals, much less those of its citizens. Many small problems within bureaucracy had combined and multiplied into larger ones. Calls for reinventing government were heard, suggesting that government should give its utmost attention to serving its customers well and to try to instill an entrepreneurial spirit into many of its operations. The final report of the National Performance Review incorporated reinventing government principles and exhorted federal agencies to downsize. The goal to eliminate unnecessary regulation, focus on results, and offer customer service equal to or better than the best in business. One of its explicit goals was to give public administrators incentives and tools to manage their agencies more like the private sector. The National Partnership for Reinventing Government is a reform effort formerly known as the National Performance Review. The NPR, like its modern predecessors, targeted opportunities for waste reduction and offered hundreds of specific recommendations for managerial and technological improvement. Reform proposals were drawn from the best practices of private manufacturing successes in Japan and the United States during the previous decade and selectively converted to the public sector. Policy initiatives such as the NPR were part of a broader government reform trend in American public administration and its European counterpart, New Public Management. A contemporary criticism of the entrepreneurial paradigm is public servants do not deliver customer service, they deliver democracy. New Public Service is based on the view that democratic government should result from a dialogue and deliberation about shared values. Public servants are motivated by a desire to contribute to society and to respect law, community values, political norms, professional standards, and citizen interests. The NPS perspective emphasizes that when citizens are transformed into customers, the public interest might be diluted with damaging effects on democratic governance and public administration. Some mix of these two theories has combined to create the present-day operational realities of public administrators.